She's a Grammy Award winning gospel singer and songwriter. Joining us in studio to share the importance of the word, however you can get it, especially today, is Yolanda Adams. Hello. Good morning. Oh my gosh, it's so good to see you. Okay, you, you have gotten so many awards, but there's a special designation today. Mm -hmm. You are our first live guest in the studio since the COVID shut down. Hallelujah. First of all, amen. Hallelujah, wait, hold on, amen. hallelujah, amen. hallelujah. Amen. You see, we're a little bit rusty. We're it's a little okay. bit rusty. It's okay. All right, but it's welcome. Awesome. First of all, when you called me, I was just so excited, first of all, to just come and see you, but then to know that I am the first artist and the first person to come into the studio after COVID pandemic, yeah, all The first of that living just, thing, oh. I'm telling you. The, the song in my head for the last two years has been, hey there, lonely girl. Oh no. I was, yeah, all by myself. Yeah. All right. Well, Yolanda, you know, there are so many people who know you and know your backstory. There yes. are other people who are kind of new to the flock, if you mm -hmm. will. So I want to uh, back up and go through this. Uh, okay. As a little girl growing up, did you grow up in a strong church household? Oh yes, I did, but God was cool in my house. Because because God would go to the skating rink with us as well as going to church with us. So, you know, you never did separate yourself from God. And yeah. so, you know, now all of a sudden, you know, everybody is like, oh, God is in every breath that I get. Of right, course right. he yeah, is. Yeah, you didn't quarantine God no, to like Sunday morning. Put, and, and we didn't box him until yeah. Sunday morning. Right, right, so, right. Yeah. I remember a pastor saying once, you know, Jesus needs to be a road dog, meaning he goes wherever you go. And if you're questioning why you should go into one place, turn around and say, Jesus, should I be in here? <laughs> should I be in here? <laughs> right. So you're a tall drink of water. And yes. I love this, by the way. Oh, thank you. Yes. Thank you. At one point you thought, I'm going to be a model. Yes, I did. And then my grandfather changed my mind. <laughs> <laughs> he influenced me, changed my mind. You're the oldest of six kids. If you don't go to college and finish, they're not going to go to college and finish. So you got to do that. And I promise you, as soon as you finish college, I'll send you over to Paris. And a year to the date that I graduated, from college, my grandfather passed away. Oh, but he saw you. But graduate. he saw me yeah. graduating, and uh, now you know we have lawyers, doctors, all kinds of stuff in our family, yeah. and and you, educators. You, and, and speaking yes. of educators, you became a teacher, but yes. there was this other thing that was pulling at you, and that was your passion of gospel music. Yes. At some point, you had to make a decision. I yes, love the I story did. you tell. Your principal called yes, you. Yes, she's like, hey, uh, <laughs> you're not getting here on Mondays. <laughs> <laughs> we need you to get here on Mondays on time. <laughs> For the chilling. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Miss Ujir. Uh, and and she helped me make the decision because you know how spiritual we get. Oh, if I can just finish seven years, seven is the complete number of God, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, and but on you had and to make a decision on. to quit a pension. to, uh, yeah, come on, <laughs> yeah. at a sure thing. Yes. And step out on faith with no water in the pool and yeah. be like, okay, God, we're doing this. You so know? you did it. Okay. Yes. So, but take us from that. There, there's all these steps right along the way. Mm -hmm. uh, you're performing is one thing to yes. actually get into a recording studio, mm -hmm. especially then we don't, it's not as, it's easier today. You know, you pick up your phone and record something. Yes, right? you can. Um, but to go into the recording studio and actually hear something, was there a moment when you thought, this is it. This is this is the song that's going to empower a lot of people and possibly get you one of those little trophies. Well, you know, you never think about the trophies mm -hmm. until later. What you want to do is you want to do impactful music that will, first of all, keep you grounded mm. and keep everyone else. Your own else, therapy. Your own you therapy. Yeah. Keep everyone else centered. Yeah and point them in the direction of where they need to either return or just come to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. all right. So you have four of these right I here? I have four of these and you know, I'm very proud of them. They're so cute and- <laughs> They're so cute, okay. Like, oh, I love it. So this is an actual real life yes, Grammy right is. here. I'm like touching one for, I'll polish it off later. No, you know, it's good, um, it's good. I don't mean to compete or anything, but I wanted <sighs> to show you something I got the other day. Um, <laughs> an award. And you know here what? it is right here. I emceed an event. <laughs> <laughs> I emceed the event, and they gave, and this is a coffee. Does your Grammy grind coffee? No, Does but my, my my Grammy uh, flows money though. It, oh, it flows. <laughs> I, I want one of those. Okay, I want one of those. Okay, what you're going for next? Because yes. you know they have. Oh yeah, you're going for one of these. I next, am right? going for one of those next. I have a television series coming up on BET and BET Plus. Mm -hmm. I am the um, the. I guess star of it, 
uh, one of the co-stars, and uh, that's my next one. This will be great. So I'm coming for that In one. the meantime, I'm thinking, I'll let you take one of mine to keep it as a placeholder okay. if you let me have one of the Okay, yeah, because okay, well, you have, what, five of those? Uh, eight. But, uh, who's yeah. but, who's <laughs> count, but who's counting? <laughs> who's, I, you know, I, I, it's not very Christian-like to brag, okay? It's I'm all just, right. You I can just share. Try, you it's shall know Christian, the truth, and the truth shall set you but free. But it's Christian-like to share. Yes, yeah, so yes. that was a share. That wasn't a brag. <laughs> but you, you've done so many cool things. By the way, the uh, Grammys are coming up April 3rd yes. uh, here on... And and, uh huh. Uh, in Vegas. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and it'll be on Taylor KHU. and I will be there. Uh -huh. You will be there, but you're on the the board, are you? I not? am on the uh, Recording Academy board. I am one of the national advocacy chairs, and we, at, as the board, we yeah. try to make sure that we're fighting for the rights of musicians especially in our Texas area, because yeah. I'm a part of the Texas uh, chapter as well as the national yeah. chapter. And we know they went through a tough time with that COVID oh, shutdown. Oh my gosh, but you know oh. what I love about the Grammys and our organization, the Recording Academy? Mm -hmm. We have a financial uh, foundational arm called Music Cares. Uh -huh. And we distributed a good, what, maybe $10 million uh, through the pandemic That's to cool. folks who couldn't pay their rent, yeah. folks who needed medical assistance. All of those things are very, very yeah. important because people think when they say Recording Academy Grammys, mm -hmm. this is it. No, no, no. That's just a part of it. Yeah. And we are just so and excited. And a lot of work went into that part <laughs> a of A lot it, of right? work. Yes, uh, yes. Speaking of music, I, I started off by saying how important music is in culture and society. Yes. I can't tell you how often someone has said to me, girl, I would not have made it through the day if it was not for that Yolanda Adams song, oh. and get, getting people through. Thank and you. What's it like for you to hear that? Because, uh, and do you realize how impactful you are? Sometimes when you're doing it, like you said, it can be therapy for yourself, but do you realize how impactful you have been in this business? You don't realize that until someone comes to you and says, you know, I really was going through when my mom passed or my dad passed or this happened and that happened. And that song was so, it was like a breath of fresh air and I kept it on repeat. You, you realize the responsibility that you have. Uh. And so the responsibility, and I know people are gonna be like, ah, oh, she's just saying that because she has four Grammys. The responsibility to me yeah. is greater than the actual trophies. Yeah, but you're absolutely right. It's the responsibility we have at this show, not yes. just me, but everybody who works on this show and our station, right, to uh, put out good work and, and meaningful things. Yeah. Uh, you also have the radio show. I remember when yes. I was on your radio show, I, I'm always like mesmerized by people who can quote scripture. Y'all were just like, this, 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 this. And I, I felt like I needed to, I felt the pressure to <laughs> join in. So I was like, yes, I go, and you know, uh, uh, Beyonce 12.5 says to the left, to the left, oh, everything yeah. you got in a box to the left, you see. I feel like I could jump on in there. <laughs> <laughs> because I, I'm like, oh my gosh, they know everything. But that's just another way that you have been able to to share the gospel, if you will. Oh yeah, uh, because you know we're we're not a show that's like, and if you don't do this, huh, and you don't, you know, we, yeah. you, you know me, yeah. you've yeah. known me yeah. for years and years and years before Taylor was born. Yeah. So I, I call you Yo Yo. Yes, you do, because yeah. you know me, know me. <laughs> and and it's not like. Um, we're you know, trying to tell people how to live their mm -hmm. lives. What we're doing is we're living examples of what will happen when you tell God yeah. yes. And as I always say, you know, things are gonna happen. Just because yes. you're walking in faith doesn't mean, yeah, it, I always say, you know, uh, if, you, if you let God use you, you don't have to figure out how. Come on. And God doesn't do it, he gets you through it. Yes, he there does. Go, Did I make up for being on that radio show and having yes. those, okay, go ahead, right, yeah, go yeah. Ahead. And of course your book, uh, Points of Power <laughs> Points as of power, well. yes. Yolanda, thank you so much for joining us today. Come we're on. at that point in the segment where we have to say, get right church and let's go home uh -huh. <laughs> well like i say anything for you you know i love you uh -huh. dearly i am so proud of you and so proud of everything that you do you represent us so well thank you and likewise i'm proud of you and uh -huh. <laughs> you okay for more information on yolanda adams you can go to greatdayhouston.com and we will it doesn't say somewhere in the bible thou shalt not covet i think no, that's one you, of the commandments yeah, but, but you're not coveting you're holding i'm holding you're you, manifesting you, your you, words you think i'm not coveting okay uh, <laughs> and we will connect you.